So another mathematical toolkit that you're gonna be able to deal with a whole bunch in AP Physics 1 or well technically in physics would be proportion. You'll be asked to relate the relationship between quantities. For example, you are asked to relate the relationship between acceleration and the applied force to, to an object. So we're going to replace the equal sign with the proportionality. So we write down acceleration and then force. Uh, suppose the force was applied twice the original. What would happen to the acceleration of the object? Since they're directly proportional, the acceleration will be doubled. Now what happens if the mass is doubled? So if the mass is doubled, then what will be happening to the acceleration? It will be reduced to one half from the original. So these are a few of those proportions that you're going to be dealing with uh, quite a bit. So the more we get into this concept, the, the more you're going to be able to, to uh, make a good habit of understanding relationship as we go on. So this is just a quick heads up. Um, another concept would be coordinate system. So you will be asked to look at the uh, locations of uh, your variables that you're studying. And in a space, uh, this would usually be our rectangular coordinate system. So you have two here so for example you will be you your your test is to find out sorry on that uh, to find out the position of p so you'll probably move five units to the right and three units vertically up to find the location another uh, coordinate would be uh, this uh, plot here where you have uh, the x and y that has the the origin in here and this is one of those uh, coordinate system that you, you'll you be uh, asked to use to reference your object. And we're going to use quite a bit of this in your uh, AP Physics one. So just review some of those information from your previous uh, math class. Another one would be a little bit of trig. Uh, you're going to be using a right triangle. Uh, if you look at this figure here, so you'll see side Y is the opposite of the angle, and then side X is adjacent to the angle, and side R is the the hypotenuse, and um, you're going to use this to find basic trig ratios between the length of the side of the right triangle, so you could see some of this concept. Uh, another uh, basic concept that you're going to learn is to apply the, the Pythagorean theorem. So we're going to be able to have some uh, examples on this, uh, particularly when we're dealing with forces and finding the components of vectors as we go on. So please review this. Uh, again, you can find this in your textbook on the Appendix A. Um, a great deal to understand this and when, when we apply this in our AP Physics one. So that's it.